Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Keeping Goals. You join us, it's Saturday, match day minus one. In today's Keeping Goals, we have an away game against Honinger, four games to go in our season. Right at the very end, trying to finish as high as possible. And our opponents, Honinger, in the relegation zone, battling for their survival in the league. So it's gonna be an intense game. But more of that later on, because right now, Frankie's here under some really nice balloons that she got for my birthday. Non-Swedes, can you tell me what gratis means? There is your Swedish lesson for the day. Go and learn that word. But we are making Connor's famous tuna pasta over on the hob. How are you feeling about tuna pasta, Frank? <laughs> no, I like it. This is the biggest fib ever. Frankie <laughs> comes from Italian heritage. She is very proud about her food. She's very proud about her cooking. I don't normally get a look in in the kitchen. However, spaghetti, tuna, pesto, and spinach is actually quite nice. Frankie always turned her nose up at it, said it looked terrific, tried it, and then told me it was the best pasta she ever had. I was expecting you to challenge that, but it is the no, best pasta you've ever had. No, not at all. Anyway, we'll do a bit of cooking. We'll show you how to make some famous tuna pasta, and then we'll get on with the rest of the evening. Pasta is done and a masterpiece if I say so myself. Very easy for you guys to do at home. Spaghetti, tuna, spinach, pesto, a little bit of cheese. Give it a try, let me know what you think. So dinner time, and then we've got a little bit of game analysis to do in preparation for tomorrow. So I'll see you after I've eaten this. So the last thing that I need to do before game day tomorrow is a little bit of game analysis on Honinger. So here, you might be able to see I've got their game from last week when they played against Karlstad. They lost 2-1. And on the right-hand side, I've got the notes that I keep on the different teams in our league. So I've watched through some of the highlights of their previous games, obviously watching through this game from last week, just trying to see anything that might be able to help me or help the defenders out during the game tomorrow. We've obviously done our team analysis. We've done all our breakdown of how we're going to play, how we think they're going to play. But this is for more specific stuff that might help me. So. I'm looking at the centre forwards, I'm looking at the attackers, what foot do they prefer? That way I might be able to help my defenders to show them onto their weaker foot. Obviously things like set pieces, free kicks, penalties, all that kind of information that's gonna help me individually. This is something that I've done for the last two seasons. So I've got quite a big dossier on all the Etan Nora teams, but it helps me so that I don't have to think too much during the game. I'm gonna be in flow and I've got those little bits of extra info if I need it. We're setting off pretty early, it's an away game. Bus leaves at quarter to nine, and we're flying down to Stockholm yet again. But the plan for this evening, finish this off, and then I think Frankie will have straight come dancing on the telly. Classic autumn Saturday evening, but looking forward to game day tomorrow, more importantly. Morning team. Game day, on the bike, heading up to the ground, about to get to the bus to the airport. Double bags on the back, a lot of stuff for the goalies. Anyway, on screen now, I'll ping up the table. As you can see, very, very tight. Honinger down the bottom, desperate for points. We're in this middle clump, trying to finish as high as possible. So both teams very keen for three points today, which should make it a really, really good game. Gritty Astro, I would describe the ground as. So it's gonna be a big, big test. But looking forward to it. Let's get on the bus, head to the airport. Let's go. Flight was good, onto the bus now, head to the ground. Right, we're here, ready, game time. Wish us luck, I'll speak to you afterwards. Let's go smash it. Come on. So kicking off, PTO, we're in red. Honinger are in white. Early in the game, very windy, we're playing against the wind, sun right in the eyes, 
First 90 seconds, ball over the top. Guy manages to get behind James. Managed to make that push and that save to the right-hand side. Thought it was a foul because I thought he barreled into me. It wasn't in the end. Just had to watch that ball carefully as it came through. Wasn't able to get a step in seeing as it was such close range. So just had to try and push from that standing start and make the save. Lose the ball in midfield, played through to the striker, cuts inside, has a shot from the edge, able to make that save down to the right-hand side. But a busy start, first five minutes. Work our way back into the game, Maki with a good run, good tackle from the centre-back, and Villa really, really close with that right-footed effort, just wide of the far post. Now playing out from the back, they were playing with three forwards. I knew that if they stepped high, like they did here, I would have some space with my wing-backs. Because if their fullback cheated, like he did then, and tried to win that ball, but didn't, it would leave that space down the wide side. James does a really good job winning the flick on, getting the ball back. That's a great ball in, and it's just wide. Defender does really well to get there before Maka. Little bit end-to-end -end as we begin the game. Cross comes in, Henke does a great job, gets in front of the attacker to stop that shot or that chance on the edge. Gustav Nord with a good cross, just out of the reach of Make. Other Gustav crosses it back in again, bouncing in and around the box, but just not able to fall where we want it to. Great ball from Freddy through to Gustav again. Down on this side of the box is where he really specialises, cuts inside, just unfortunate that the shot goes outside the post. They win the ball back in midfield, played through, good run from their wide forward, cuts inside, just wide of the post. One of those situations where it's difficult to read to see where he's going to play it. Corner towards the end of the first half, not able to get out and block, shot is just over the crossbar. They were really pushing and creating chances at the end of the first half. Ball's bouncing in and around the box, laid off to the wide zone, Henke with a great block to stop that shot on the angle. Early second half, similar stuff. Play down there right, right hand side. Gustav does a good job to make sure he's in front of the wide forward. Again, playing short. I know that if they step, I should have that space with my fullback. James again is able to flick on. It's about knowing how your formation matches up against theirs if they decide to press high. Good cross from James, good take from the keeper. Long ball, bouncing in midfield, not able to clear. Shot on the edge of the box. Easy enough save down to the right hand side. Villa does a really good job here after the quick throw. Beats his man well, but just unable to get the right cross into Maka. Corner comes in, not able to make the clearance, falls to that man in the pocket, and he almost scuffs it through Henke. Past my foot, went with the foot because it was such close range, but wasn't able to make the save. Nice play from Honinger on the edge of the box. Good pass in, good hold up play, nice dummy. And then he has that finish into the bottom corner. Really frustrating because of the bodies. I leant left to look and try and find the ball, which I couldn't see, just as he shot to my right and I wasn't able to get back on myself. Frustrating that we conceded two quick goals. Trying to find that space again. Ball into James. But again, we lose the ball in midfield. Midfielder drives through. We're not able to get pressure on the shot. And that's 3-0. Really frustrating. Got my hand to it. Feel like I probably could have done more to make that save. So a really, really frustrating one. But you can see just falling apart in terms of giving away the chances, which wasn't good enough for us. Great tackle from Bram. Maki does well to step forward. Has the shot with his left foot. Just unfortunate not to get it on target. Great ball from Henke over the top. Just short from getting to Gavi. Rain's coming in hard. Good cross from Gustav, and then there's Gustav Nord there to finish with a great goal again. A little bit too late, but we were pushing to try and get back into the game. Rain was really coming down heavy. Cross from wide, just trying to track it, move my feet, and manage to make the save with my left foot. In those situations, you want to take up your starting position to, in, to affect the cross if you can, but if not, fast feet across, try and make yourself big, and then get whatever you can on to try and make the save. Unfortunately, we weren't able to get back in, get another goal or keep on the pressure, and that was it. End of the game, final whistle, and unfortunately that means it was defeat away in the rain.
So a few days have gone since the game, I had time to reflect on it. First of all, we didn't match them in terms of intensity and desire. As I said, they're fighting for every point, but that's no excuse. You should, whatever point of the season, at least match, if not better, the intensity and the desire of the opposition team. That's a source of pride as an individual player, that's a source of pride as a group. So if you don't do that, that's a clear failing on our part. Even more so when you're in a run of bad games, like we are, we're in a run of bad results. After such a great run recently with so many wins, to be in that dip where you're losing games, things aren't going your way, and the performances aren't there, when you're in a bad run like that, you need to be brave. And by being brave, I don't necessarily mean trying to throw your face in at someone's feet. What I mean by being brave is continually standing up, continually holding yourself accountable, not going hiding, not going missing, but taking on the challenge, taking on the responsibility. It's very easy when you're in that bad slump to hide. And what I would try and say with this is, I know that I have to keep standing up, keep taking responsibility, keep doing more, keep working harder. And hopefully that's a message that you guys can take if you're ever in that position where you lose games on the bounce, where you're not putting in the performances that you want to. We've got three games left. Those three games need to be maximum effort, maximum intensity, maximum bravery, as that's the only way that you turn it around. Let's make sure that we finish the season on a high. This week's Patron of the Week is Marco Adzic. Marco, thank you for supporting us. Thank you for supporting the channel. We wouldn't be able to make these videos without patrons like yourself. So a massive, massive thank you. If you want to be a patron like Marco, receiving tons of exclusive benefits, you can sign up using the link below this video. Thank you for watching, guys. Thank you for following along for another match day vlog. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you took some value from it. Please give a video a like if you did enjoy it and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if there's ever anything that you want to ask or anything that I can help with, feel free, leave a comment down below. I'll see you next week for the next video as always, but look after yourselves, keep chasing improvement, and I'll speak to you in a bit.